as supporting the event with pizzas for all the volunteers twice a day, together with a promotional offer which anyone can use at any of the Swedish restaurants for a, for a 20% discount. You just need to use the promotional code ESA2018. Hi everyone! Hey! I'm Kidon11 and this is Kirby Superstar Ultra 100%. Uh, helping me today, I have Mr. Murray next to me, uh, going to help me out with commentary because commentating in two-hour run by yourself is not very uh, very easy. So uh, we're gonna just uh, go straight into the run. So in three, two, one. So the game starts in uh, Spring Breeze automatically, and uh, this is sort of a tutorial area in the game. Uh, the game kind of teaches you uh, everything you need to do, um, but we're, we're kind of going to be messing around with it uh, by going into uh, our very first trick of the game. First off, we're going to kill this poppy bro, and we're going to do some shield moving to get these two together and do a mix. First try! So what mixing is, is uh, you grab two enemies with an ability and you mix them together uh, and you suck them up together and you can basically do a four frame timing trick to get whatever ability you want. Which in this case is Jet. All the abilities are on a on a wheel sort of and depending on who you inhale, uh, like what combination of enemies you inhale, you start at a different point of the wheel. And that becomes important because I'm going to do a couple of extra mixes along the way as well. So, um, in the end, like, learning your mix timings is very important. Right here we grabbed up an invincibility candy. It basically makes you invincible and, like, make, uh, allows you to run through enemies. And it also uh, speeds you up in the horizontal space, which is quite useful uh, for speedrunning. Um, I'll try and like pepper in one or two of those kind of mixes. Also, this is something cool you can do with uh, Jet, just the one cycle. Oop, and a Kirby dance. So what that grab attack was, was a full charge Jet and then just grabbing the thing. And you're gonna see that more often because it's a really powerful damage threat. Oop. This movement strat always gets to me. The entire Spring Breeze level is sort of kind of a remake of the first Kirby game, which is Kirby's Dreamland, but with abilities in the mix which were not present back then. So you're gonna see many bosses that were present in those in, in that game. That didn't go too smoothly. <laughs> you got one more cracker to go though. Mm-hmm. And especially with Jet, it just becomes a breeze. Get it? Because it's called Spring Breeze. Anyways, um, this is Krakow. He isn't too difficult. Like that. And then grab the star. And get another Kirby Dance. So we're coming up on the last level in Spring, in spring Breeze. It will... It basically is a breeze, the entire the entire mini mode here. So meet so meet King Diddy. He's like the big he's like the big boss in the entire uh, Dreamland, and and can just beat him up. Yep. He is not very difficult to beat uh, with Jet. Because Jet is just overpowered. Now at the end of most of these game modes, there's a cutscene. Uh, but instead of watching the cutscene, we're just gonna soft reset it. Um, it basically skips the cutscene and still counts as having completed the entire thing, which is um, really useful for speedrunning. And we're gonna go on to Dynablade. I'm gonna do some nice little drop mechanics. And um, well, I feel like we've had we haven't had Jet for too long already, so we're gonna go over here and mix them mix Jet again. Ah. Uh. It's kind of annoying. The Spring Breeze mix is one earlier than the uh, Dynablade mix. So I always have to wait a little bit longer than I expected. 
It's it's really obnoxious. So Dynablade is a is a mini game in Kirby Superstar Ultra where where there's a where there's apparently a bird that's messing around the uh, the dreamland and Kirby as he always does go, he goes to investigate. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. There's actually a cool little strat I'm doing right here. Um, I'm just running off the ledge, and for some reason that gives me the running jump uh, ability of Jet, which is the air dash, and um, and it's actually really useful. I like to call it ledge tricking. Um, it's just literally timing your B press right as you fall off the edge, which is really cool. And on to Mellow Castle. Okay. So, um, I'm running 100% in this game. Um, what does that mean? Well, one of the things that it means that in Dynablade, I have to press two of these buttons. Now, these buttons, as you can see on the map, they um, create a fork in the road and into a new kind of area. Um, I don't have to go into that area, luckily, but that area basically contains uh, a little collection of abilities. I believe Jet is actually in the first one as well. It's like the start of the arena. Exactly. Shoutouts to auto scrollers, by the way. Hurt you liked auto scrollers. I don't like the auto scrollers, but I wanted to <laughs> I not in Kirby <laughs> games. Actually not in any games, but in Kirby games especially. Even though there's <laughs> one one upside of them, I can I I have more time to enjoy Kirby. Exactly. Especially in music. Yeah. For some reason, all the Kirby games have like uh, have like n it's not got steer. They have very good music. Mhm. Mm so a thing about jetting, by the way, that I haven't really mentioned is that if you hold up, you will never lose height if you j uh, do your jet timing correctly. So like right there, I just held up for most of the stage to just quickly go through it. Um, Bonkers is a pretty easy fight. And yeah. we're gonna go on to this. Yeah, section. bonkers appears like a big guy, but in most cases, it's like it's like a few a few hits, or at one point he don't he doesn't even stand a chance at all. There we go. Now this section is usually kind of annoying, but I ace it. That's really nice. That looks a lot easier than it is. I usually feel that one feel that movement. Just have to time your B presses right, but if you make one little mistake, you just instantly bonk somewhere. So does so does the wind here affect your movement? I mean, how does it affect your movement? Um, it basically just speeds you up in the horizontal plane a bit, um, and you actually have to be a little bit more careful with your spacing, because most of jet work is spacing your jets out right, so you go quickly and um, that wind kind of messes up with normal spacing so you kind of have to get a feel for that room and on to the warp star most of the time warp stars are not the fastest way to go around the levels but here uh, Kinen just didn't have any other choice so Bugsy can be really annoying I could have shot him down before he did the did the movement there but I made a few mistakes. There we go. He usually just like jumps around a bunch and, and it's really obnoxious because he can just like jump on top of you without you being able to do anything about it. So here we're gonna do a jet jump. With a full char uh, charge, if you uh, jump again, you will basically just instantly use the charge and you can go really fast upwards. We're gonna use that here and there uh, to basically just skip an entire room and fly over it. Because that's what Kirby is good at, flying over things. And farting stuff when, he's, uh, when he gets his jet. <laughs> so here we're gonna grab another free candy. It's always nice to get them. And to the left here is the other switch which we're just going to use the exhaust to quickly sw uh, press. Now 
let's hope I can do this one quickly enough. The music already ran out. And nice, still got the speed there. So I'm gonna do another little mix here. Um, now this mix is, is a little bit special, so let's see if I can get it. There we go. Nice. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so aside of, um, so aside of, of course, abilities, you can also mix a uh, super, which is, uh, which is uh, the same as the invincibility candy, and also you can, uh, you also you can mix an out, which basically makes you, makes you, uh, ha you know, take damage. Yeah, it's actually really silly. In the uh, tasks of this game, you usually see the task just randomly doing a mix and getting a candy and just flying through levels. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Also, the hardest final boss of the game uh, of this game is coming up. So I'm scared uh, of birds. Yeah, keep keep your eyes peeled. It's it's going to be very scary. Don't blink. And that was Dynablade. <laughs> Jet kind of makes things a lot easier. Uh, just to, and just to make sure everyone gets the message, Kirby is going to throw these birds off of no. uh, a hill. He's <laughs> not. He's going to feed them apples and teach them how to fly. I saw them throw them off a cliff here. Oh, my God. Anyways, up next is Gourmet Race. Uh, now, the cool thing about Gourmet Race is that... Oh, I do not want a tutorial, thank you. <laughs> um, is that while you're walking on the ground, you have the same speed as if you have an invincibility candy. However, the moment you jump, you will lose all of that speed for whatever reason. Uh, now, in the original version, apparently if... Oop, apparently, if you let go of the direct of the D-pad right before you jump, uh, you will keep your speed, but for some reason that doesn't work in this version because it's a complete remake, so every every physics thing works slightly differently. Plot wise, plot wise, this level is pretty silly because it's literally Kirby and DDD fighting for food. I mean, wouldn't you? I wouldn't race for food. <laughs> also, uh, level 2 is objectively the better um, music. Don't at me. Don't you like the Kirby 64 remix of, you know, the Kirby, the Kirby 64 remix? This one doesn't have it. And... Okay, so in this level, uh, Kinnan is actually gonna grab an ability, if I recall correctly. Yep. So, uh, this is the first instance of a wing. Now, you saw Jet there and it's like, hey, isn't Jet really strong? But Jet can't do that. So, uh, one of the tricks you can do with wing is what we like to call dive cancelling. What dive cancelling does is um, you basically start a dive and you go up a little bit. And you can actually just cancel that uh, the, the going down part of the dive by flapping, so you can just go up really quickly if you do it right. I'm not really showing it off right right now, but we're gonna see it pop up from time to time. Stuff like that, basically. It's really sweet. Yo, sub 40, that's really good. Nice. Do we have a second for a double? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so Rikit. Uh, with five dollars saying, "Hey yo, Kenan, greetings from the Netherlands. Please poyo as fast as possible, poyo." Poyo. And poyo. we also have thirty-five dollars from R. R. Henrich saying, "Thanks for everyone. Thanks to everyone who makes this even possible. I hope you all have a great time. Thank you all for your donations." So this is uh, the Great Cave Offensive. Um, in the Great Cave Offensive, we have sixty of these treasures to collect for one hundred percent. So we're gonna go around and try to get them uh, as fast as possible. If you're still thirsty after Super Metroid for collector funds, there you go. Yeah. So plot-wise, uh, so plot-wise, Kirby wanted. I think he wanted to go on an adventure, but he ended up falling in a hole. Yeah. And and here's just collected, collecting collecting uh, stuff laying around in the underground. It's a, it's um yeah. Story-wise, this game isn't usually all that special. 
but I'll that's that's Kirby. I mean, Revenge of the King has the best story. Fair. I mean, again, we're talking about a game series where uh, the plot of one entire game is... Wow, get up there. Hello? Is uh, Kirby gets his shortcake stolen, so he goes to the ends of the earth to try and get it back. Fair. That's Squeak Squad, by the way. Yeah. While we talk about Squeak Squad, uh, during this... Uh, uh, one change that was made in Great Cave offensive when compared to Kirby Superstar on the SNES or Kirby's Fun Pack if you're in Europe oh. is that some if is that there are some references to other Kirby games uh, there are some treasures are referencing uh, those those games yep we'll point them out when they come along right there's a there's a couple of little references here and there like this is the screw attack from the game you just watched it's pretty sweet Speaking of sweet, here we got some candy. So yeah, uh, you might not be able to read all of, all of them, but I know most of the treasures by heart what they are, because I've ran the English version for a while. But yeah, currently running the Japanese version because it's it's a lot faster. Two minutes, right? Yeah, about two minutes. And that's the Phantasmo mask. Not completely sure what that one was referencing again. Probably some SNES game like RPG. Anyways, that was bonkers. I hope you liked him. I always love that one. Let's see. Uh, Sparkles. Wait and go. Oh, oh. Damn. Maybe that's a. Um, oh, what's the game called again? It's a really cute game. Uh, then a an, um, Staffy reference. Don't know if you've ever seen Starfy runs? I have not seen the Starfy race. Starfies are Starfy games are really cute. I like them. Yeah, watch th watch them here and there. Shoutouts to Diamond. Anyways. So with Wing, uh, you can see that um, we can just get through these levels kind of quickly. Now the main reason why I actually really want to have Wing is all the way at the end here for um, this specific treasure, because with Wing you can cut these wires, and you can't really do that with uh, many other abilities. You can do that with Cutter, actually. The game yep. like uh, for sometimes forces you to use Cutter for exactly. these. But we've had enough of it, so we're going to go back to our bay jet Jetmaster for this race. fight. Ah, so we got the slow pattern here. Uh, there's two patterns that Fatty Will can do. Uh, this one is the slow one. So we have to try and kill him like this now. Nice. There we go. And on to the minecart sections. Now, the game wants you to use the minecarts, but minecarts are slow. So we're just gonna jet through here. I mean, if you were tra if you wanted to travel some uh, somewhere far away, would you take so would you take a train or a plane? Yeah, exactly. Well, depends. Depends on the tra on how the train ride would go. Anyways, this is one of the more sneaky treasures, having to shoot through it. It's yes. uh, it's one of those treasures that some people forgot in their uh, casual playthrough. Yeah, when I was playing, when I was doing my casual, I just grabbed the uh, ten G, ten G coin, and just but what? That's all. And I just, uh, well, I yeah. just went on. Also, this saucepan is more trouble than it's worth. It's also like 10 Gs. Shoutouts to Terminal 7. And we've got a knuckle bracelet, or whatever you call that. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles, right. There we go. So yeah, it's just a lot of random treasure everywhere. And here, um, I'm gonna pick up the Helix Fossil. Praise Helix. Uh, sadly, however, I also have to pick up the Dome Fossil, so... I'm sorry for all the Helix worshippers out there. I know, old memes, but... Ah, damn. 
I honestly really like the strats on that fight, but I kind of messed them up. Some neat stuff you can do. So yeah, that's the left side of Crystal. Now we're going to go into the middle, which is a little bit of a water section at the start. Believe me, there's going to be more water, so um, do be prepared for that. It's a 2D platformer after all. Water levels. They're usually not too bad in Kirby games, though. Usually. Ooh. That's a bucket. Mm-hmm. So, are there any other abilities you're gonna use aside of uh, Wing and Jet? Uh, yeah, a little later on I'm gonna be switching into some other abilities. Also, this is the Power Paintbrush from Kirby Power Paintbrush or Canthus Curse. Depends on where you live. But yeah, uh, Jet is just so versatile that we're, using, we're gonna be using that a lot throughout the game. But there are a few sections where uh, we, we are definitely going to be switching into different abilities. It's just, especially for this crystal section, it's just too good. Lot of blocks to break for. Also, that's Captain Falcon's uh, helmet. Did you know that by the time uh, Smash Ultimate comes out, Captain Falcon will have appeared in more Smash games than more F than F Zero games? Yeah, I've heard about that. That's just sad. Also, uh, speaking of Smash Ultimate, Bandana D for uh, Smash Ultimate, please. Here's the phone from uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Which is a nice moment to talk about my run of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror tomorrow. Yeah, because... because... You can donate for the color, and please do not donate for Cherry. It's a horrible color. You can donate for Chalk. Or, or, hold up. What was it, the eyes that looked like the old Kirby? Or am I... Uh, yeah, Chalk is the one that looks like old Kirby, yeah. Aye, aye. So this is a cool little boss fight. This is a uh, computer virus. He kind of works like an RPG boss. You can only hit him uh, when uh, the enemy is on the ground. Because that's your turn. And um, if you get unlucky, they'll attack first. Luckily, I didn't get unlucky, so... Oh! Ooh! Nice. I almost messed up the fight, though. And this is the main reason why we're playing in Japanese, by the way. Uh, the text, actually, the text speed scroll is a lot faster than on the English version. So, overall, just this fact saves two minutes. It's actually ridiculous how fast it is. Softness went up by five. Yeah. That's the only sad part, is that you can't read uh, all your stats going up. Yeah, because those, sta those stats are like... They are just for show when you play the English version. It just says you got this, you got 100 and something XP. Not that it really matters. It's really cute. I like it. It's it's very Kirby. Oh, so in the tower, we're gonna go on the right section first. This is mainly because uh, if we go this side, we can grab up a different ability. Yeah, we're gonna switch again, finally. Um, to allow us to go into the basement. What are Meta Knight's minions doing here? I have no idea, they're just annoying. They are preparing, f they're, uh, they are preparing for the invasion. Probably. So here we're gonna switch into Hammer real quick. Um, also this is the Tri-Star from uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. So we're gonna use hammer for this little section. It's not that it's specifically movement faster, but we just need it um, coming up. There's a really cool mix that uh, you can do as well for stone, uh, but it's just so hard that I don't go for it. I'm go down here quickly. Ow. I need that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's one of the things I haven't talked about yet. So, uh, whenever you get hit in this game, it is somewhat random um, if you're gonna lose your ability or not. Uh, it's actually determined as well by the kind of damage you get. If you get small damage, you get you have a 
lower chance of losing your ability than if you get big damage. And I think with like Gordos, it's like something like 70% or something crazy like that. Someone actually um, recently posted the numbers in the Kirby Discord. Shoutouts to Kirby Speedrun on Discord, by the way. Yeah. It's a really, really cool place, full of people saying, Hi, Kibi. Hi, Kibi. Anyways, going down into the basement, we have to use those elevators. It just takes a while. And we're gonna switch into fire. So a cool thing about fire that you can do is you can stand next to your enemy and turn into an inferno. We didn't get lucky here on Jukit. Also, when Jukit grabs you, it, he you, you will always lose your ability. It doesn't matter at all. I do need him though. Smudgy smudge. So the reason why we helpered uh, fire right here is because for some reason Fire Lion can breathe fire underwater. Don't don't ask. Please don't ask. It's Kirby. Yeah. For some reason he can and we can't. But yeah, we got the falchion from here. And we're gonna go right here to grab the shield. And then we're gonna do a little death warp. Because otherwise we'd have to go all the way back up using the elevator. So it's just a lot easier to do a death warp and start all the way at the beginning again. And we're gonna start off with a little mix. First try! Nice! In practice, Kenin would actually get out a lot of time here. Yeah, it's it's really annoying on that one. It's a very annoying little mix to do. So this is the infamous uh, sleep room. We're gonna do a safety uh, strat by helpering our um, wing. This basically allows us to go through here uh, without the risk of losing our ability because well, helpers don't sleep, apparently. And also, anytime you, you touch one of those statues, which are of Nadi, uh, you, will, you will lose your ability in favor of, of sleep, which, you, which like puts you in sli into sleep for like five seconds or so. Yeah, it's too long anyways. Anyways, this is a cool thing about Wing. I love doing that. It's so sweet, just going up quickly. Here we're gonna go and grab a little chest with something. Apparently it's 100,000 G's, which is quite a lot. One expensive chest. So here we're gonna help her our wing and grab stone. Now the reason why we want this specific combo uh, will become a little clearer later on. I am, um, but it's one of the things with helpers that you're trying to solve as many puzzles as possible. Yeah, basically, helpers, uh, most of the time, they are, they are nothing but temporary ability storage. Yeah. Especially for when I'm doing stuff like uh, mixing candies or using one-time abilities. Also, I quickly went into the uh, boss room right there. Uh, it'll become quite clear why I did that in a, in a moment. And just run through here. Okay, nice. I don't recall this level from my game play. Nice, I dodged the bird on. Okay, now we're gonna go all the way up here. And this is why we needed uh, this specific combo. We need the bird on to cut the wire, and then with stone we can destroy the peg and go up here into this wonderful area to get the king's robes. And now we are going to get ourselves killed. Now the reason why we went into the boss room real quick is it sets our death flag. So whenever we die we would spawn there. So we can use that to kind of death warp all the way back here and not have to do some weird movement to get back up here. And this is Camellio Arm. He has a different color every time you meet him. And with Ninja he becomes quite an easy fight. If Kenan wasn't that good at the game, may, uh, 
you we could maybe could be able to see the the, the color orbs that Camille arm drops. They are actually a unique <coughs> ability called paint. And they can be used against they have a special like function against the Camellio arm and the heavy lobster, which is coming up in Revenge of the Meta Knight. But we are but guess we are not going to see that. Ah. Nice. <laughs> that room can be really obnoxious. Especially uh, with the fact that I didn't see if the Kabu was in the way or not. Anyway, on to the... Woo! I needed to get into the cannon. There we go. On to the other side. The main reason we go left first is um, so we can just mash through those cannons. It's slightly quicker to do it that way. But it's also to grab up uh, an ability right here and... Um, you can have three guesses as to what that ability is. Is it Cutter? No. Is it Yo-Yo? Oh, no, it's Jet. It's Jet! Our Woo. favorite! Yay! But yeah, we've done everything in tower now, so we're gonna go down and on to the next section. Again, just Jet in through the tunnel. It's just ever so slightly faster. This one is a little bit more annoying to do well. Uh, because it just goes up and down and up and down. Which is a little bit annoying, but it works out. Now if I time this right, yes. Uh, usually when you hit that button, um, all the enemies will go to the left. But if you time your jets right, you can actually get them to fly to the right. I have no idea how it works, but it's really cool. And right here, we're gonna press down and grab this treasure. In my casual playthrough, I actually didn't know that you could do uh, up or down uh, on a full charge. Uh, so I did full charge jets, um, trying to get in there. And if you just do full charge, it becomes a frame perfect trick. So it's really hard. There we go. For some reason, this Bugsy is a lot easier than the Dynablade one. I really don't know. What's that you just collected? It's a Raccoon Doll. It's, it's weird, it's, it's uh, a Japanese thing. Uh, Kirby has weird taste in, uh, in antique stuff. I mean, if it's worth money. I don't blame him. Yeah, if it's worth money, I'd take it any time as well. So here we're gonna quickly switch into the most powerful ability of the game. It's yeah. a giant destroying uh, attack that we use to press a button. It works. Yeah. It's one of the. It's it's called Crash. It's a one-time use ability, and. It just deals a lot of damage to everything on screen, but yeah, we're only really going to be using it to press a button. Because, yeah, it's perfect like that. And switch back into Jet. Yeah, while well, playing this through this game, you can see that there there are many 1-ups that uh, Kidden isn't collecting. That that actually wraps up with the tour theory that Kirby games are made to be easy, which is probably probably true, but well... Uh, I am pretty sure that in each mini game you can stack up to at least 15 one ups if you if you really want to. I don't know actually, I just skip everything. <laughs> <laughs> the speedy way. I just go fast. That little bird can be really obnoxious. So I just like broke some blocks so this um, rope will actually burn all the way to the cannon. And we're gonna go up here, ouch, get in there, and grab ourselves the DK barrel. Can barely make out DK on there. He's finally here. Oh, no. I don't not, know the rest. <laughs> not the DK rep, please. <laughs> also, this is the Ramia skill from uh, OOT. I didn't know this until I really started watching OOT 100% uh, a lot. Ah, damn. Didn't get the one tile gap. 
reminder that one tall gaps in Kirby games are literally the devil. Yeah. They are impossible to get through sometimes. It's really annoying. Kirby just Kirby just squeezes through them. So here we're gonna finally get rid of Jet again uh, in favor of Wheel. <laughs> oh right, if I forgot you can use Wheelie Rider as well. My bad. That's actually one thing that's different from Kirby Superstar, uh, because in Kirby Superstar, like the SNES game, you cannot co uh, collect uh, you cannot collect treasure while you're on the wheelie rider. Yeah. Also, I just got wheelie tired of using Jet all the time. Oh, here's Nori again. There we go. So as you can see, we have only two treasures to go. After Kenan collects that, we can we can make our way out of the cave. We have only one boss before that. Yep. Wh wham bam rock, right? That is correct. So right here, uh, we're gonna grab ourselves cutter. Uh, we're gonna need that to cut through all these ropes, and we're gonna take Wheelie along because we're gonna do a, a neat little trick. Um, now in this nice version, people would actually just like fall down together with uh, this specific platform. But in this version, we have to do that little jump trick to get it down while we're on the bottom. Saves a little bit of time over actually doing all the way. Now the thing you might notice me doing, by the way, whenever I go through platforms, is a little um, like shield animation. Um, now, oh my god. It's, it's a technique we call shield dropping. What it basically does is it skips a little bit of an animation of Kirby like crouching down to uh, go through the platform. And every time you do that, you save a couple of frames. So it's just worth doing throughout the run. And we just grabbed Triforce, gonna hand it over to Ganon pretty quickly. Oh wow. Wheelie, Wheelie, stay here, thank you. Wheelie! I just kind of messed up this fight. I'm not really getting traction into it. So here we're gonna grab stone and hope to kill Wham Bam with it. One more hit. Ooh, Wheelie just barely stayed alive. Also, I'm sorry headphone users. That was a bit loud. Uh, anyways. We want to use Wheelie right here because it's just just faster to go through here with Wheelie and go all the way up. Yeah, that will be and that will be wrapping up a great cave offensive. Yep. Because somehow the entrance to the to the cave was connected to this a little bit, and right now we are making our way back. So with the star, we're gonna go out again and. Um, Oh, we're gonna skip the longest cutscene in the game because it basically shows you all the treasure that you've collected and it's a really long cutscene. We saw that already anyway. Okay, so we just uh, so Kenyan just unlocked Meta Knight's Revenge, which is basically Meta Knight taking over the Dreamland. Yep. The reason why he wants to do that is uh, because he wants to end Kirby uh no, he wants to end Popstar's lazy lifestyle basically. But we're Kirby, and we like laziness, so we're gonna beat him. And uh, you know what I've been missing for a while now? Yeah. Yeah, not that. <laughs> Let's try that again. Jet. Nice. That's honestly one of the easier mixes to do. The setup can be a little bit obnoxious from time to time, though. Yeah, but anytime you get anytime you get jet, it's an achievement. <laughs> Just years of practice, not even joking. So yeah, against Heavy Lobster right here, um, we do not actually have to defeat him. We can defeat him before the timer runs out, basically, but it's not needed, so we're just gonna wait a little bit. He still comes. Uh, if you def if you would defeat him ri now, right now, he would still come later, right? Yep. The thing is, as well, is that uh, if you defeat him, the game creates a couple of lag frames to, to make it a little bit more dramatic. So it actually loses you a few frames if you defeat him. It's kind of silly. Yeah, so right now we have... Uh, Kenan has been blasted off of the halberd, which is Meta Knight's, uh, Meta Knight's uh, flying ship. 
And he's making his way to... He's making his way back to on the ship. Making my way downtown. Uh, anyways. So this is a cool little moment where I show off holding down while doing air dashes. Uh, while you hold down, uh, at the end of your air dash, you will go down a little bit. And it's really useful uh, for sections like those. It's just nice to be able to control your height so carefully uh, with Jet. And anyways, I heard someone liked auto-scrollers. <laughs> if you got anything to, to read right now, uh, feel go free to do so. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, we don't have anything um, on the donation side to read, but we would like to just mention one of our platinum partners, which is the City of Malmo. And without the help of the City of Malmo, we would not be able to run this event in this lovely hotel. So thank you very much to um, the City of Malmo. But, but really, no donations? No! Nothing. no! What? I just ah. randomly lost Jet. Okay. Rip Jet. So that loses me about a minute. Um, I have backups for this, so not to worry, but it's definitely not the way I want things to go. Anyways, we're gonna use some wing then yeah. to go up against Wispy Woods. I've never seen that boss. Like, what? like, he must be a new addition to this game, right? <laughs> yeah, totally new. You know what's better than one wood? Oh! Twin woods! Oh my word. Killing twin woods with, uh, with wing is extremely fast though, so that's really cool. You actually beat them faster than you would with jet. Uh, however, the movement afterwards with wing is just not, not much faster. I at one point tried experimenting with helpering jet and then using wing, but that didn't really work out as faster. Kenny, now I've got a question for you. Mm hmm. Jet Kirby with cherry color scheme? No. <laughs> Wing Kirby with cherry color scheme? No. Wheelie Rider with cherry color scheme? You're, you're, you're missing the point here. You're saying ch cherry color scheme. This is the problem. Anyways, oh, I was running there. We got a double bonkers over here. Yep. And they can be kind of annoying with wing. Yeah, and their heads are the same color as the feet of Cherry Kirby. Oh, please. Okay. And we finally defeated... Come on, die. Thank you. So, a fun little fact. Uh, on the JP version, that block that I just destroyed is two tiles lower than on the English version. I have no idea why, but it's a localization thing. Anyways, I like to call this the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go fast. But yeah, as you can see, wing is a little bit more shaky than using jet. Ooh, jump just in time. I'm gonna grab fire here before lighting this fuse, and we're gonna continue on like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Wee. Oh, hey, Dino Blade. Blade. How so Dino Blade is a friend now, and uh, he's gonna put us on the halberd. How you've been, Dino Blade? Remember that one time? I, I mean, I hope you don't have uh, it against me after I pushed your children off of the a cliff. Didn't push the children off the cliff. How many times do I have to say this? Anyways, with fire, we can still do some cool movement things. Also, I'm full health again. I didn't actually notice that. I was a little bit afraid of my health for a while. So one of the things about fire movement that you might not really notice is that right before I use those like really high-flying burnings, uh, I actually have to press the jump button. Okay, so right here, can an enter enter level? You could see Dyna Blade living in the like. Flying in the background because she actually got shot by by the halberd right before uh, right before Kirby could get on the play get on the halberd, but he got, he got there anyway. Yep. And don't worry about Dynablade. It's a strong. She's a strong bird. I'm gonna go up here. So 
So you might think like, hey, why isn't he picking up Plasma right there? I heard Plasma yeah. was pretty good in, yeah, in KSS. Yeah, it's OP in KSS. Yeah, but in KSS U it sucks, so we're never gonna use that. It actually got nerfed, what? Yeah, it got nerfed to hell. Anyways. As you can see, I'm a little bit too well versed in these backup strats. I totally haven't done these way too often. So on to uh, main cannon number two. Now I actually really like using fire on main cannon number two, so I'm kind of happy I have to do the backup. Because you basically just do this. Ah, not fast enough. And that's main cannon number two. Yep. It's actually a reference to the original uh, KSS, where it's called combo, combo cannon, but this time it's called main cannon number two because it's the remake. Anyways. Up here is our backup jet, and let's hope we don't lose it again. That would be really nice to just like have jet all the way to the end. So here we got another wind section, and it's gonna be a little bit annoying because we're ha gonna have to zigzag right here, so... You can really see the difference wind makes in movement. But when you jet through, it doesn't really make that much difference. On to fighting Mr. Frosty. Can be really obnoxious, but that was a really nice one. Thank you, Frosty. Also, this uh, this uh, game mode has one of the best music in the entire game, in my opinion. Doubt it. Then again, almost all the music in Kirby games is amazing. Correct. So here we're just going through the ducts real quick to get all the way to the bridgehead. Um, but we're gonna be led towards Heavy Lobster and um, we're gonna go into a little auto scroller section. And I hope I can validate this run right now. Gem, gem alert, by the way. So this run is now officially valid! Fuck. Woo! It's kind of a, a community meme to get all the blocks uh, during Revenge of Meta Knight or else your run is invalid. I, I have lost runs to doing that. <laughs> it's 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 a bad meme. I should stop going for it. But uh, but I mean, would you would you rather would you rather die, die trying or finish or finish a run that is not not valid? I would rather finish the run to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get a little light a nice little drop screen right here, and we're just dropping. Dropping bows on him. Anyways, this was my favorite uh, dialogue in the entire game, but you can't read it because it's Japanese. I mean, if you know Japanese, you can read it. True. Ow. Plus one was can be really annoying because they just randomly pop up everywhere and mess you up. So sadly, we have to go all the way over here um, to press this little button. I know that in the original version, you can use a plasma trick uh, to hit it, but in this version, that doesn't work anymore, so. And we've tried a lot of things, and the only real thing that you can use to uh, quickly press that button is crash. And there's no easy crash mix nearby, so we can't really go for it. You can't make crash from a mix? You can, but it's there's no easy one. Okay, so here's reactor core, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. And this and this is the boss. Uh, uh, can it cannot actually damage. He can only make it damage itself because uh, because once in a while you see that little wiggly arm coming up, and he ma he has to make it hit the core, and it takes three hits to take it take the core down. The thing I am trying is to shoot down the laser or shoot down like uh, fire blocks to try and speed up the cycles just a little bit. 
But yeah, it's basically an auto scroller boss boss. And you know what? It's a perfect thing after an auto scroller boss. An actual auto scroller. <laughs> no, actually no. So yeah, again, if you've got anything, feel free to mention it. Okay, so we have two donations that have come in. One from MOD366, a $10 donation, saying, No donations to read? That doesn't sound too good, so take my money, it's for a good cause anyway. I started speedrunning myself about a month ago, and it's great fun. Now I get what pushes all those awesome people to perfect their game. Keep up all that awesome work. And he's put that towards the Minecraft Java edition um, incentive for language in German. And just one more from Drax1 for $10 saying, no donations, good luck on the rest of your run, Kinnan. Thank you very much. Are those, are, is any of those donations uh, towards the Kirby colors? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> too bad. It's a shame. Okay, there we go. So here the uh, Meta Knights are going to make their last stand before the ship goes down, which means that we have to destroy them all. And now they're all just going to try and jump ship. But Meta Knight is still on the ship because he's the captain, so... And now we're gonna fight him. Sadly for him though, I don't know why he's doing this, but he's bringing a sword to a jet fight. I mean, I like the guy, but why would you bring a sword to a jet fight? I don't know. <laughs> Kinda just have to get lucky with him. He likes to do random things. And that was Meta Knight. No Mac Tornado, actually. That's good. Yep. Actually, I like him doing Mac Tornadoes early because he creates starts, starts that way. And then you can kill him even quicker. So yeah, for this section I only really have to do three inputs, um, and do them right. So I have to jump right here, One. jump right here, Two. and now I can just take my hand off the controller for a bit, maybe do a little stretch, and jump right here. Thank you, thank you. What I got. Also Kirby never left the ship. Blood twist! So, uh, another soft reset to skip the cutscene at the end, and we're gonna go into one of my favorite sub-games in the entire game. Uh, this is um, Milky Way Wishes. Now, in Milky Way, Milky Way Wishes, the gimmick is that you cannot um, get abilities from inhaling enemies. Instead, what you have to do is collect uh, deluxe copy abilities. Little, like, uh, you can see on the bottom screen, actually, there's some space left open for them. And you can use whatever ability you collect, um, again, by simply tapping the uh, touchscreen. So right here, uh, we're going to have our first one, obviously being Jet. <laughs> it's a one-time deal. You, you get them once, you keep them forever. And for the 100% uh, definition, we have to grab all 19 of them. Uh, you can see a little counter in the bottom right of the bottom screen. Now we got two. You can also see like how many you have to collect in each stage. Each stage has three of them, right? Uh, depends. Sometimes um, it's two. And and one time there's one. Yep. So yeah, in this uh, in this stage, for some reason, you have three um, movement abilities. I don't know why they put them all in one stage and yeah. allowed you to go to it instantly. Keep note for the uh, keep note of the stage because we're gonna we're gonna okay. come back to it uh, after the run. Isn't that right? Uh yeah, that was the idea. So that was Krako again. Do a little manipulation at the start there to try and not get a bounce when you land because when you're too high and you uh, come down, uh, you will do a little bounce and that loses you about a second or so. Also, this is the secret planet. This is question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Also known as the gold and silver rifle in Pokemon. Um, and it gives you copy. Uh, now, the copy ability is kind of interesting. Uh, it's made almost specifically for this game, be game mode because you couldn't, you can't uh, copy abilities by inhaling them. But you can you can copy them by using um, the copy ability. 
So I like that, that many Kirby games like promote uh, Kirby having the copy ability, even though it makes appearance only in this game and Kirby Superstar. Anyway, plot-wise, this game, basically, the short version of it is that Sun and Moore are fighting and Kirby is, is collecting uh, st uh, stars, I think, uh, to make, to go to them, uh, to go to the Wishmaker Big Clock, something called Nova, and make a wish for them to stop fighting. So yeah, there you saw me use the uh, copy ability to get Hammer from uh, Bonkers and beat him down with it. It's really useful to quickly get rid of enemies. So yeah, we're gonna see more of Hammer because as you can see, it is ridiculously powerful. Damn. It is basically, it is our main, wow, come on. It is our main boss beating weapon. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be seeing that in the arena coming up as well. Yep. Go down here. Okay. So this is Wham Bam Rock again. Um, we're gonna try and get a two cycle on him. It's a little tough to do so. But we got it, nice. Yeah. It's really important to try and time your first, uh, oh, your first uh, um, hammer flip there to try and get him down. And on to the next planet. Uh, this is a Mechai, and it has the cool theme. Yeah, each planet in this uh, and each planet in this mode, that mini game rather, has a, a has a theme. This one has a mechanical one, uh, which is sort of akin to Meta Knight's ship. I'm gonna grab an invincibility candy here, so we can go down here. Oh, nice, we got that one. That strat is actually really tough to pull off because you have to time your B press right as you right before you land. It's sweet. Why did I do a full charge? <laughs> Anyway, grab up Yo-Yo, which is honestly one of my more favorite abilities in this game, but sadly it has no use. <coughs> so how much time did you have to put into this game to get to the gameplay level you are on right now? Um, I think it took me about two and a half years uh, of like on and off playing. Because what I like to do is I like to switch between games every month or so. But yeah. It took me a long time and I've currently been running this game for four and a half years now. And so I can be considered an old boy. You're the second place at the leaderboards or the first place? I, I currently have world record in basically every main category in this game. Right. Oh, nice, we got good luck. Yeah. That really makes uh, Heavy Lobster a lot easier to do. We could just like hammer flip right behind him. And we're gonna go down to probably the most annoying stage in this game. Hot now, I'm gonna me. attempt a little thing right here. That's way too early. I'm gonna try again. Get also, you can get rid of Cook. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for that one. I tried another candy mix there. It saves a like a decent amount of time. I really like it, but sadly, it's it's uh, not the easiest mix out there. So we're just gonna go up and use a damage boost to get up here instead. That is a very nice clip. And grab ourselves fire. And because we did the damage boost, we have an extra candy right here, lying there. So we can use that to go fast in this section, using fire once more. Fire is actually not a bad speed ability. It could be a little faster, but it definitely has its merits. And I hope that the candy didn't run out. Nice. Awesome. So you saw can uh, just here get the suplex ability, which is like 
when you're playing casually, you will end up losing it. You will end up using it a lot because it has so many possibilities. It's it's a lot of fun to play, uh, fun to play around with for sure. Also, ah, this section is a little annoying. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for that. Scarfy is in a horrible position. Yeah, Scarfy is one of the enemies you cannot inhale. Actually, when you try to inhale, the, when you inhale him, he will become hostile towards you. So Here's for this cannon section, it's mostly a mache, but I messed up on both cannons <laughs> because I'm bad. Anyways, um, on to Camellia Arm, and this time he's red. And we're gonna do a little cool damage strat where uh, we reset our attack pat or attack animations by getting hit right after we did them it saves a nice amount of time doing that and on to the obligatory water world oh not the water it's aquarius yep. aquarius by the way So we're gonna use Jet for just a little bit. It's just useful for getting through these sections. But after that, uh, we're gonna be going into the swaggiest ability in the game. Try to think of what that could be. It's ah. Parasol! Woo. So Parasol is actually not that bad as a speed ability either. Uh, there are like, uh, there is a task out there that like uses it quite heavily and it has some really cool strats that are really not easy to pull off. Casually people tend to not like it because it changes up the floatiness of Kirby in a way. Yeah. Ow. Ooh, I actually want to... And yeah, also, we got lucky. Yeah. And uh, also if you puff up uh, while you're in water you'll get pushed towards the surface pretty fast so this boss I could technically defeat with stone uh, but I'm not good at it so we're just gonna use hammer and we get sword which doesn't make any sense to me yeah me neither anyways here we're gonna do another little death warp um, it's basically, if you enter this room uh, with full health, uh, doing the death warp uh, gives you the same amount of... Uh, like, takes the same amount of time as walking all the way back. So, uh, doing the death warp usually always saves time. What will do? And that's 14 out of 19. Yeah, it's been, by the way. And we're gonna go through this section. Yeah, this section is actually a labyrinth. Uh, there are there are like many dead ends that will lead you back to the beginning of it. Luckily, being a speedrunner, I know where to go. What I got. And on to another fatty will, and he's giving me the annoying pattern again. However, this time with hammer, we're gonna do something fun. This is the only game mode where oh, I messed that one up where I can throw hammers at at my enemies uh, because you can just instantly get another ability back and it really deals a lot of damage quite easily. Kirby pulling an MC hammer right here. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, I switched into Jet for the final hit uh, mainly because it's just... we have to switch into it right here anyway so it might as well just save that little bit of time okay so this uh, uh, this is this level's uh, gimmick is that every time you enter a door it cycles through seasons so when you enter it's spring when you enter another door it's summer then it's autumn or fall and then it's winter and each time you enter a different season some things something change some things change about the level layout so right here you see there's a cut of tree and that wouldn't be cut down if if it was uh, for example spring it also reveals like different doors uh, to different uh, abilities, so it's kind of the puzzle to figure out um, where everything is. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we got all the abilities in this level, so it's just uh, wrapping up at this at this point. There we go. And we get to fight again Twin Woods. I have not seen this boss before. Now with Twin Woods, um, you actually want to kill the left one first so that the right one uh, does the puffing attack. If you kill the right one first, um, he'll do like a crazy like Gordo attack, of, like making Gordos fall down and whatever, and it's it's not fun, so I like to do the left one first. It's it just it's just more consistent. Okay, so so here's the last planet we have uh, we have to do. It's I actually don't remember the name. It's Half Moon, right. and uh, this movement strat is a little tough and I already messed it up a bit. I'm gonna have to do a little bit silly things right here. Okay, there we go. Start is always a little bit tough on this stage. Okay, good. So there is a warp star you can take there, uh, but it's way slower than jetting through. But yeah, I kind of messed up the movement. There's some really smooth movement you can do there. There we go. One of the more swaggy abilities. So you can also not just uh, switch abilities uh, on the bottom touch screen, but you can also go into the start menu and tap whatever ability you want real quick. It's it's really neat and it's only really a little bit faster on that section because you have so many abilities by that point. So here we're gonna fight against a double mid boss and now with hammer it becomes a really easy fight. And we're gonna go into the updraft room. You're gonna do the zip here, or...? Uh, yeah, after I get the ability, because there is uh, something that's recently been found. Well, it's been known for a long time, but only really been um, experimented with lately. And it's like... It's, uh, it's a cool little thing. I'm gonna switch into... That's the wrong direction, probably. Ah, no, it isn't. Switch into wing. We're gonna do... Nope. I'm gonna do a dive cancel. Oh damn. Get hit by Gordo. I like to keep my wing, please. Come on. Get hit by Gordo and we zip up. Ah, damn. Ah. I'm gonna try it again because I messed up the setup a little bit. Not that good at it. Ah. I'm getting hecked heck by this Gordo. There we go. And all the way to the top. a sweet little move you can do. I'm gonna quickly switch into hammer again. And we're gonna do a, another little setup here against this computer virus because you can one cycle this evil knight. And I messed up the setup, damn. So what you try to do is you try to get hit and then um, while getting hit you can do a hammer throw which deals damage twice and that way you can destroy him really quickly. Ah, our first bad luck. So yeah, to give you an idea how bad computer viruses are in this game, um, you can you have a possibility of losing about a minute, uh, no, at least half a minute on each. Um, and there are six instances of computer virus. So if you're really trying to grind this game, you really need to get good luck on these. Uh, if you don't, then the run is just... is really bothersome. There we go. Yeah, so now we are wrapped up with uh, with all the star bits or whatever that actually is. Uh, so now we're gonna make our wish. And we didn't make that wish because we got bopped by Barks, who is actually the guy that told us that we that the uh, Sun and Moor are fighting, and he wished to be become the strongest, uh, the strongest uh, entity in the world. So now we are destroying Nova because uh, because Nova is gonna in is going to interrupt into the Sun Moon fight. To I actually don't know why. <laughs> no, I don't know why either. But yeah, this is a little auto scroller. So uh, if you got anything to read or anything, uh, please go ahead. So we have um, actually two donations which are towards 
it's um, the Kirby and the Amazing Mirror co-op. Oh, run. hey, nice. Um, we have one for twenty dollars from Anonymous for Cherry, um, no. saying <laughs> Kirby Superstar is one of my top five favorite games, and it's mind blowing to see it being so thoroughly demolished. Keep up the good work and put my donation towards Cherry Kirby for Amazing Mirror Run. Please don't. <laughs> and we have a thirty-one dollar donation from Anonymous for Carbon. Hello everyone. Oh, nice. Another great event, and I think it's always cool to see all classic games broken. Can't wait for the Mario 64 run and all the other games to come. Greetings from Denmark. Hey, Charlotte. Mm? Did you notice we just passed 50k? Yeah, I was about to say. Um, awesome, awesome announcement to make. Yeah, we have reached $50,000. <laughs> all thanks to Kirby. <laughs> Um, we have, um, this is due to a $500 donation from Tompa. Woo! <laughs> Shout out to Tompa. Hello, ESA people. I won the 50K snipe. Thanks again, everyone, for making this an enjoyable event, and don't forget to show your badge. And <laughs> the reason that is so exciting is because that is actually going to get doubled, which means that we have hit the 100,000 mark. 100K, people. Thank you everyone for your donations. We're so hyped to have reached 100,000. Okay, so we just celebrated that 100K with, uh, with quick kill on Marx. Mm, actually, no, I didn't get the quick kill on him. I didn't get lucky enough. Ah, uh, But yeah, um, um, I'm not gonna go back and uh, explain the uh, boss threats I just used, but we're gonna meet the same bosses again because we're doing the arena, which is which is basically a boss rush. Yeah, uh, it's basically completely randomized except for the final boss uh, at the end. Oh no! And this is the best threat in the game. Goodbye, Wall Bandana D. Never forget it. Actually, you had ba a Bandana D mm -hmm. already, right? So this is a really neat strat for main cannon number two. We're gonna be damaging up. Oh, I got slightly unlucky. I need to do another hit. So with damage boosts, you can really uh, nicely kill main cannon number two there. That can be really annoying sometimes. For Krakow, we have to time a hammer flip, so we deal a lot of damage right at the start. And that way you can defeat Krakow really quickly. Hammer is extremely powerful. Sadly, for um, for the reactor, we still have to wait a bunch. Oop. By the way, love auto scrollers. Auto scrollers are the best. So a lot of people usually ask me, why don't you destroy the cannon at the bottom of um, of uh, the reactor? Now I don't do that because it doesn't actually save all that much time to um, to destroy it, and whenever it's in its animation, every time you hit it you actually slow down the animation, so I really feel like that's just not worth going for. And once again, I really love you, uh, Meta Knight, but you should stop bringing a sword to a hammer fight. It's not smart. He, just wants, he just wants to show off his sword. Well, I hope he showed it off right, because that's all. He's gonna get a chance to show it off in a bit. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Galactic Nova Nucleus um, that we beat a moment ago. The idea is, is that you can just mash uh, the damage, the, the attack. And what we're going to do here is we're going to skip two nodes and then kill this one so that the screen scrolls um, backwards and we don't have to do the cycle of shame waiting for like 10 seconds or something to go all the way back to the one that we need. It's a nice little strat. And on to Fatty Will. For the first time. And we finally got ourselves the nice pattern. Yeah. This one we just can beat really nicely and easily. One. Nice one, Psycho. There we go. So for Dynablade, uh, I really want Dynablade to spawn to the right of me. I don't want left. Thank you, Dynablade. Because on left, I can't do this like crazy damage strat all that easily. But on right, it becomes quite a breeze. 
Talk about the breeze, look who's that. It's Wispy Woods. A new boss. Which is quite easy. Yeah, actually, in the entirety of the game, you met Wispy Woods in like, uh, like 20 times. Yeah. It's kind of ridiculous. This is one of the, the highest woods density you can, you'll can you find in a Kirby game. So we, you never can blame uh, HAL Laboratories for deforestation? Yep. Anyways, we're gonna grab up some health because uh, we've done most of the damage boosts, but still like to have some health near the end. Nice. Got another two cycle here. Nice. Still a little tough. Uh, the other one is a little easier because you have a candy, but here we don't have that, so. DDD. Actually, I like to keep actually, my hammer. Actually, fun fact: Lorewise King DDD is not. It's like he's he's a self-proclaimed king. He actually doesn't know anything. He just happens to live in a castle. Getting a little bit unlucky on la 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 here. There is like one cycle luck you can get, but yeah, I didn't get it at all. So this is the mid boss all stars. Um, it basically uh, there's two of them, and it's basically just a bunch of mid bosses that die way too fast. And here's the other one. That's a reminder of quick of things past. And we're doing a small bit of a manip with hammer flip to try and get them to land to our left. So that we can uh, get rid of them faster. Ooh, that was a miss. Computer virus coming up? Yep, this is number three. If you're counting, which I am. If your computer has that money viruses, you might as well pop in some pink pink fluff into it and it should work. <laughs> nice seed and shield. People in the chat are, are mentioning the Kirby carton right now. Oh yeah. Kirby right at you is sure is a thing. Yeah. I've honestly never watched it, but I've seen a lot of quotes of, of it just fly by. I mean, according to it, Kirby is a baby. Mm-hmm. I mean, he is in the games as well. Especially in the modern games, it's usually pretty pretty funny how things work. But yeah, that was Twin Woods real quick. And on to the final boss of the arena. This Marks. is Marks. Now, the annoying thing with Marks is that for his first attack, he will always spawn at the same spot. But for his next attack, he will randomly spawn in space in places. And if we get lucky, we can do a quick kill on him. And I didn't get lucky. So, uh, the, you can actually kill him before he does this attack if he spawns in the right spot. But if he doesn't, you just have to try and kill him like this. It loses about 10 seconds, and it's completely random. It's really annoying. So yeah, that's True Arena uh, wrapped up. And on to the uh, Revenge of the King. Which is, yeah, as the name suggests, it's Revenge of the King. It's basically DDD trying to trying to get ready for Kirby's ambush again. But basically right now he's just stepping up the game. It's basically the story of this one is that King DDD is actually seriously trying to kill Kirby now. Instead of, like, the usual antics. He's actually become serious. Yeah. Yeah, that has never happened before. So there is an early jet mix I could have done there, but it's ridiculously hard, and I don't go for it in 100% run runs. It's definitely an IL only strat. It saves about 20 seconds, um, so you would say, "Oh, that sounds about worth it." But yeah, it's a really hard mix to do well. Oh, sorry for that one. So, this is Fan Fan. Whenever you touch Fan Fan, this happens. Wow, wow. It loses a lot of time and it's annoying. But the only attack we can really spam easily against Fan Fan is that Falling Slash. Uh, deals the most damage uh, when you're using Cutter. 
Except for Final Cutter, of course, but that one is hard to use, so... Oh, there we go. And here we're gonna switch into Ninja. And in this mode, you can see that all like all the all the enemies have it are using are either entirely different or using so are have some slight modifications. Uh, that's the part of DDD stepping up the game. Let's see if I can get it. No, nope. there's a one frame trick there. You can just. Uh, do the down thing and at the same time grab the little star. It saves like no time, but it's sweet if you do it. So Ninja is pretty useful um, for the for the upcoming movement section. Can do some cool things with it if I don't suck. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to do a slide and then that. The main reason why is because it can cling to walls like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, ninja after all. But that's all we're gonna be using ninja for. Uh, we're gonna go into the easiest mix of the game, and of course I <laughs> fail it. So here's the out. As I said, as I said earlier, you can mix out which give which deals damage to. But yeah, that mix is basically just mashing the A button as as fast as possible to try and get the first uh, ability. And sometimes you fail it. I actually, at one point uh, in a run, I failed it like six times in a row. I have never been more despaired. One too many equals combustion. So here the movement is kinda tight. You wanna hit the right movement moments. And it can be kind of annoying. But that is basically Revenge of the King. You can compare it to uh, the first Kirby game's extra mode. There's like a whole lot of enemies flying around and it's actually a lot of the level design is carbon copies of that game mode. So I'm getting unlucky here. So what is your favorite game mode, Kinnon? Uh, Meta Nightmare Ultra, actually. I love doing it, and you'll see soon enough why. Damn, I missed that. So I can do a, uh, a one, like, damage grab on Lolo when he's moving this quick quickly. But it's really hard to time right. And there we go. And on to Crash Clouds. Yeah, every level in this game, like, in this game mode, is like a, a it's worth play on the level uh, from Spring Breeze. Uh, in the Spring Breeze, this level was Bubbly Clouds, and it's and now it's Crash Clouds. Again, underlining the fact that that DDD is now serious. Ugh, mad apples are annoying, and yes, they're actually called Mad Apples. Reminds me of a certain music video. Ooh. I, I am messing up strats. The movement here is just really hard to pull off right, so might mess up a few things. So this is Krakow Jr.'s revenge. Yeah, every boss in this game mode has revenge, so first we fought, fought uh, Wispy's revenge and now we fight in, uh, we fought Krakow Jr.'s revenge. He can be kind of obnoxious sometimes, but we got some nice patterns out of him. Did I just see a parasol spear waddle dee? Mm, not sure. But yeah, the waddle dees right now have little spears as well to show you that he There's means business. Oh, okay. Uh, nice save. We got really unlucky there, but we didn't lose Jet. That's the important part. Because we need it for the fight against Cracker right here. Cracker's revenge, that is. I'm gonna wait a little bit and grab the Waddle Doo. Nice. 
That was a really well executed fight. And Next up, we have Kabula. You might have missed him in Spring Breeze, but here she is. The idea is, is that you're trying to stay like slightly above uh, in the blimp so you get double hits on her, and that way you can destroy her really quickly. And then on to Revenge of DDD. This is the, the completely new, and it's got a little nice text under it. It's a it's a rip off of my of Revenge of Mad Knight at this point. It's cute though because Bandana D is constantly trying to get the king to calm down because he's just completely dramatic about everything. And this section is basically somewhat of a uh, boss rush. You're good on time, Kenan. <laughs> yeah, 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 I had an easy time. Don't worry about it. So against this wheel... Ah, oh, damn. I keep failing the strut there. Oh. Uh, you feel the entire yet, Kenan? No, no, no. I'm not wheelie, not wheelie. I still got traction in this run. <laughs> Anyways, this fan fan is the worst fan fan in the game because for some reason they made her speed like made him speed up a bit. And luckily I got really lucky patterns. Usually um, that fan fan can really mess you up. Yeah, and now Didi is gonna address the elephant in the room. Oh of course. Ouch. So twin fire lines can be kind of annoying, but if I get them right, I might be able to set something up here. But I couldn't get it. Uh, if you if you kill them somewhat at the same time on the same side, you can actually get a fairly okay candy mix and that really speeds up this section a bit yeah and now since we are basically are coming to the final battle uh, DDD is for everything he has which is basically what all this at this point and of course bandana -D, oh no which again gets axed off in a very very unsavory fashion And now DDD decides to give us the hammer. a hammer, which is probably the the worst thing he could have given us because, well, it's a very strong ability. But DDD has his own hammer as well. So we didn't get lucky on him. You can kill him before he does this uh, if you get the right pattern. And there we go. Yeah, that's Revenge of the King done. So he gets thrown out of the castle again. And we do a little dance and soft reset. Uh, personal opinion: Revenge of the King has one of the best ending cutscenes in the entire and the entirety oh, definitely. of Super Cell Ultra. So good. Anyways, on to my least favorite uh, game mode in the game. This is Helper to Hero. It is basically a set pattern arena um, that you can complete with 20 different helpers. Now, luckily for us, in the 100% definition, we don't have to do all 20 helpers. Uh, the, it's actually in-game defined as only doing it once, which basically saves about two and a half hours. So be very, very happy that you don't have to see two and a half hours of arena. God bless Hall Laboratories. I, I, am, I am very, very happy about that. But yeah, uh, because Hammer is so overpowered, we're obviously going to do this with the Hammer uh, Helper. And we're going to be using mostly the same strats as... Oh, wow, he didn't jump. That's new. Uh, as with uh, Kirby. I've never seen DDD not jump on the first hit. That's weird. Now, with uh, Bonkers, it doesn't actually matter if Dynablade spawns left or right. 
because his hitboxes are slightly different than Kirby's, and you can really quickly kill um, Dynablade like that. Ouch. Most of the bosses also, I think, have like slightly more health than uh, when doing the Kirby Arena. They're basically the, the other versions. Uh, which makes them a little bit more annoying to fight against, but... It works all the same. Could be, could be because uh, the, the change could have made because uh, uh, when while playing as a helper you cannot actually lose your ability. I don't know. So fun fact about the bonkers hammer flip, it actually, the hitbox of it stays on for a very long amount of time on the field. So you can really use it to um, to your advantage. For instance, in that fight, it becomes very useful. And we're going to be using it to make um, a certain two cycle extremely easy. That's a boss I've never seen before. I haven't. Finger alert. Oh, pfft. that was a mess up. There we go. Come on. Stop jumping. Damn mechanical. I think the virus always comments third at the arena levels. Mm. Anyways, against uh, computer virus, you can clearly see that uh, the enemies have slightly more health. They also have an edgy power, uh, an edgy palette swap. I mean, look at that black and red knight. Doesn't that look edgy to you? The red, the red is the blood of his enemies. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh no, I hate it when he shields. He's got one health left now. It's so painful every time. It even, it even throws you, it throws it in your face. The purple dragon is pretty cool though. Yeah. Anyways, on to uh, Meta Knight. Luckily, Meta Knight finally learned not to try and give people swords. So we can just, like, beat him down with uh, our ability. He just settles for the fact that you're gonna come with a hammer in a way and, and Ex settles for a fight for honor. Exactly. We got really good luck on Meta Knight there, though. Anyways, on to the final bosses. Uh, this is Wham Bam Rock. Now, like I said, the hitbox stays on for a lot longer than Kirby's, so... It makes this two-cycle extremely easy to do. And when Wham Bam Rock dies, we gotta fight against Wham Bam Jewel. Oh boy. So shiny. Mm. Wham Bam Jewel is basically the same as Wham Bam Rock, ex except a little bit... It has different moves and deals more damage, but... In the end, Hammer is just too powerful to really be able to show it off. Anyways, from the worst game mode to the best, this is Meta Nightmare Ultra. Now, in Meta Nightmare Ultra, you play uh, through the first five stages of this game, or five, first five sub-games of this game, uh, as Meta Knight. Now, I'm going to be doing this in in-game time fashion to just start it off with, so uh, we're going to be seeing all the cool stuff. This is the final minigame, right? Or no, no, no. True arena. Yeah. Yep. So one of the things you can do with Meta Knight is you, you might be able to like see it. I have uh, after images and then whatever. Uh, that is called Meta Quick. And Meta Quick is very important to uh, go fast. It is our main ability, our main power that we're going to be using. These are actual powers. And um, the way you use powers is by collecting these points. There's the, the little blue balls uh, that are falling towards Meta Knight whenever he kills enemies. Uh, we like to refer to those as points, and uh, having a good point management throughout um, Meta Nightmare Ultra is very important, especially the in-game time version. The maximum amount of points you can have is 50, 
And we like to try and work towards 30 because that gives us uh, this ability. Mac Tornado! It deals about 190 damage to everything on screen, which is a lot. And basically kills most bosses uh, fairly quickly. And another cool thing about um, about Mac Tornado is that it actually passes the in-game timer of this game mode. So if you look on the bottom screen, you might be able to see uh, a timer. Now that timer is the in-game timer and it's a really... Oh nice, got the quick kill. Awesome. Nice. Uh, it's a really good in-game timer because if you look carefully, it pauses during loads. So uh, it's a well-made in-game timer and it's the one we usually go by uh, in in-game timed runs. And I'm gonna be doing this um, completely in-game timed as well because it's just... It's a cooler run than the RTA run. So what are we doing that, Kenan? Can you tell me what's your favorite Kirby color in The Amazing Mirror? Uh, probably like either Carbon, Snow or Emerald. Either of those three work. So yeah, DDD gets beaten down really quickly with a Tornado right here. Um, it is actually faster in RTA not to use a Tornado. Uh, because the animation takes about 10 seconds, and if you can kill a boss uh, within those 10 seconds, uh, it's actually not worth going for the Tornado. So right here at the start of Dynablade, we're going to be doing a cool little glitch. That is called a Mega Jump. I'm going to do another one. Um, what Mega Jumps basically are... Well, I, I'm, I'm going to explain in a bit, because first I'm going to be doing some pause buffering. Now every time you land on a breakable block, uh, if you pause buffer real quick, uh, the block will instantly break while the in-game timer is paused. Uh, it's a neat little trick you can use to save a couple of tenths of seconds every time you do that. Here we go. Now more about the... Um, the uh, mega jump that I did a while back. Uh, what I'm basically doing there is I'm interrupting a dash uh, with the helper call on the touch screen. I cannot do it while on the while using the button. I have to use the touch screen. And by doing that, for some reason, uh, the game resets your state to normal, but it doesn't reset your speed to normal. So what you can do is you can add speed to your old speed. So you can do. Oop. Let's try that at one again. Come on, come back here. So you can do stuff like that. Wasn't the perfect jump, but it works. Other scrollers. Yay, I love other scrollers. But yeah, th that is one of the main, uh, one of the cooler tricks you can do in in-game time. Uh, it saves like usually half a second to a second every time you do it. Um, but in RTA it loses you time because, well, the animation, the animation still costs time in RTA, but in in-game time the timer is like stopped whenever you do a helper, do a helper animation. It's really cool, um, to manipulate the timer like that. There we go. And we're gonna do another one right here. Ah, damn. Almost. It's really hard to time to jump right. Uh, I u I'm usually a bit too early on them. But yeah, we have too many points here, so we're just going to use a quick tornado uh, to get rid of bonkers. In RTA, we wouldn't actually be using a, a tornado there. Simply because defeating bonkers is just really quick, <coughs> quick and easy. So yeah, Mad Nightmare Ultra is a really cool game when it comes to movement strats. Uh, you might notice like me using the dash attack quite often. Uh, it's a really strong uh, attack that basically gives you invincibility frames and a lot of speed, while also killing enemies along the way, which is just perfect for speedrunning. And we also use it to damage bosses uh, quite a bunch. Because it's, it's the most damaging attack you can do as well. It's the perfect thing. I love it. So, 
Plot-wise, Meta, Meta Knight through all the, from all these game modes is on a journey to uh, to fight all everything there is on a way and fight the and fight find and fight the greatest warrior in the galaxy. And then de facto become it himself. Yep. So yeah, right now I have a pretty okay point count. Um, I like to have at least 40 points coming out of this room, and I have 42, which is really, really okay. I'm gonna grab up those points real quick. And 44 is basically perfect. I am very pleased with this. This is mainly because there is a, a boss rush coming and I need to have a good amount of points for that. Grab those. And grab these. Uh, I could actually skip these two. There we go. 44 points is basically what I uh, like to have. It's like one point extra, which is nice. Ouch. And then we fight against... Uh, fight against Bonkers right here, and we're gonna use another tornado. Uh, mainly because we have a lot of points, but it also just helps us out. Do you think this game uh, influenced uh, how Meta Knight was made in the Smash Bros. Brawl? I have no idea. Because he seems pretty OP in here. So in uh, Dynablade, in the Kirby Dynablade, we didn't actually have to fight this little boss right here. Uh, it's like a map boss that like walks around on the map and you can completely skip him uh, in Kirby. But for some reason, um, you have to fight him in um, Meta Nightmare Ultra. It's kind of weird. Also, Meta Knight got no time for them stars. So, a neat little fact uh, about Dynablade is that it's the only enemy you can tornado while it's not on screen. I have no idea how it works, but for some reason, in she has a hitbox right here, and it's really neat. Very nice Dynablade. So, on to the next section. The game actually also keeps track of your run and gives you an end time at the end, which is really nice. It really is made for speedrunning, and that makes it my favorite uh, game mode for sure. So right now we are in Great Cave Offensive, but this time actually there's no there's no need or even incentive to go out of your own way. You just you just need to get through the levels quick. Exactly. They actually replaced all of the treasures with little food items. You can see right, right there, for instance. Uh, so if you're like low on health, you might want to go for them or something, but you also have the heal power, so why would you ever? Also, poor bonkers. Um, another little factoid about health in Meta Nightmare Ultra, actually. Um, all the small food items... Um, are removed, like the ones that you find with Kirby, are removed in this version, and all the uh, maximum tornado tomatoes are replaced with small food items. It's really cool that they basically made health a little bit more difficult to come by, uh, except by using points, of course, which really slows you down because healing costs you 10 points, and using meta quick costs you. 8 points, and you really want to use MetaQuick as often as possible. Yeah, I think it's if you, if you, if you screw up and, uh, and need to heal up, then you're gonna lose time, so you better not screw up. Exactly. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, we have an $11 donation from Antidote SR. First time speedrunner, second time donator. Thanks for the best marathon I was in. All games are awesome. Put the donation to runner's choice, so this is for the... Um, for the color donation incentive. Um, <laughs> put it on pink. Okay. Also, hello to the Russian restream. There we go. Hello to the Russian restream. And here we get the fight against uh, computer virus again. Luckily, we can one cycle every one of these bosses without even having to use a tornado, which is really neat. Uh, we used to one uh, cycle, one shot um, magician with a tornado back in the day, 
but then we found that this strat is not that slow and you just have a lot of points here which really helps you out in the coming sections and in the upcoming um, stage change basically you should do not, you should do perfectly fine now do, fine though because your sword sharpness went up by five. Oh, awesome yeah if you remember from earlier when there were like kirby stats that went up after that after the after the computer virus battle meta knight uh, has his own set of stats which i cannot actually tell you f uh, from the top of my head yeah there's a bunch i don't know them by heart as well <laughs> Also, we just like completely skipped past tower. Um, the game developers actually made it possible for you to just not even enter there. And the thing they also do is they remove all forks in the road. So you only have one direction to go in uh, throughout GCO, which makes, uh, makes it a lot easier to quickly go through. I'm gonna do this movement. That movement is a little bit tough sometimes. I can see behind us there's a line. Uh, people are lining up for the uh, relay right now. Oh, help. <laughs> you taking part in the relay? Nope. Uh. And Wham Bam Rocks get. Wham Bam Rock gets defeated quite easily. Wham Bam Rock. And. <laughs> And we're gonna go and all all the way to the end of GCO. So with Kirby, it took me about like 20 to 24 minutes to uh, finish the entirety of GCO. Well, with Meta Knight, it takes me less than four, probably about three and a half. Yeah, three there we go. Three and a half by the looks of it. Yep, in by in-game time, of course, of which course. isn't exactly the same. There we go. On to the next section. For some reason, Meta Knight is going to take uh, its, uh, take down his own ship. So there are a couple of theories about this. Um, the one I like the best, um, the one I made up myself, is that Meta Knight got so pissed at his subordinates for not being able to stop Kirby that he's just going to de destroy them all. I, I like that one the best. Though a lot of people are saying like, oh, it might also be target practice, which, nah, that's lame. Does he have that? Does he have like an infinite supply of halberds to just target practice on? Apparently he does. So uh, in this case we actually do have to destroy Halberd unlike with Kirby, which is a little sad. Oop, I missed a mega jump there. Mega jumps are actually quite difficult to do well. Uh, it's, it's a dexterity trick with your thumb. That was a really nice Iron Man fight. And we're gonna go down here again. It's actually nice to have Metaquick on in water because it makes water a little bit more bearable. And um, I heard you liked auto scrollers. Again, if you got anything to read whatsoever, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm gonna stretch, stretch a bit. Charlotte, any messages? We have a twenty dollar donation <laughs> from Anonymous um, with no comment. Um, aside from that, I'd just like to mention one of our platinum partners, Western Digital Black, um, and it's the gaming SSD made for speed. So that's the best um, SSD um, that you can have if you want to get into speed running. So we would fully recommend uh, buying that. So right now we are fighting the boss we have never seen before. I'm slightly wrong on strats, but it's fine. So a fun little fact about uh, doing Twin Woods in RTA, it's actually a single second faster to not Tornado here. Uh, but that one is somewhat dependent on luck, so even in RTA I usually just Tornado for consistency. Uh, so that I don't lose time at all. In, in like a two hour run, a single second is something you can lose over consistency, in my opinion. And go up here. Damn. 
We got a nice point count. Now, a cool thing about Tornado is that the animation kind of suggests that the center, uh, that the point of uh, attack is the center of the screen, but it's actually the final, uh, the last place where Meta Knight was. So right there you saw that both enemies flew to one side. Also double thumb meshing. No elevator this time. Uh, it's an elevator. A slow one. <laughs> so a cool thing about this game is that it actually has two jump buttons, uh, the A and the Y button. So you can really easily do do uh, do a double thumb mashing uh, in that section. And the ha faster you flap, the faster you go up. So it's really sweet. And onto the deck. Yeah, we're back onto the ship. So you can skip this little catapult there, just like that. Short and sweet. So in these fights, you can just kill uh, the Meta Knights with a single dash attack. And if you time your dash attacks right, you can uh, manipulate the big guy to go to the left. And that way you can kill two enemies in one stone. Uh, my point count is kind of low right now. I'm not too happy about that. But is that you, you call that kind of awesome. low? Awesome! Nice. Uh, shielding through cannons like that is actually kind of difficult. It was found by uh, Tass and it's just like you have to time your shields just right not to get hit. There we go. And we're gonna do another tornado right here against heavy, uh, against main cannon number two. Yep. So I've drained a lot of my points now. So in the next couple of rooms, uh, I'm gonna move a little bit differently than I would usually do uh, to try and um, like then as fast as I mean to try and make sure I get my points back. There we go. That was really nice. Just speeding through, please excuse me, come on. Oh. Excuse me, I'm speeding, I need to get to my own ship, I need to fire myself. Actually, do you fight anyone in this in this mode? As in, in hmm? do you fight anything in Meta Knight's Revenge, where you would usually fight Meta Knight? Uh, you don't fight Meta Knight at the end of Meta Knight's Revenge, no. I... It's, um, so, okay, a little bit of backstory on that, actually. In um, Nightmare and Dreamland, the first Meta Nightmare mode was unveiled. Uh, it's it was basically just uh, the extra mode, include like playing as Meta Knight. Now one of the bosses in that game was also Meta Knight, but for some reason the game developers were like, you know what, we're just gonna have a Meta Knight versus Meta Knight fight. So it was literally just like two Meta Knights on stream uh, on stream screen, duking it out and it's really confusing. Luckily for us in this game, uh, Revenge of Meta Knight ends at the reactor. So right. it's it's a lot easier that way. We don't have to mess about with trying to defeat ourselves. Yeah. So Heavy Lobster takes four hits and then a tornado. Poor little fella. Oh. And in this room, I'm gonna hope to not fall like that. <laughs> I'm gonna fall like this. Ah, missed two points there. Ooh, I'm not too happy with this point count. I'm gonna skip a meta quick here. Usually I do a meta, meta quick there, but uh, I was not liking my point count at all. I need to have a good point count to get through this section. Um, because I do need a tornado at the end here. So you can actually press that button with a tornado from the other side. Uh, however, it's a 30 point cost that we don't want to take. Yeah, I made a good call there. I did not have enough points for a meta quick. So luckily for us, um, against, the against the reactor, we don't have to do the whole laser beam thing and wait a long time. We can just use a tornado and that instantly destroys the reactor. 
which is a blessing. It it just oh. I mean, it's his own ship. He uh, Meta Knight should be the one that knows how to destroy it quickly. Exactly. So coming up next right here, we have a really cool little task trap to farm points. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm constantly respawning an enemy I'm killing, and that is basically allowing me to gain a lot of points really quickly. And having a high point count throughout uh, Milky Way Wishes is really useful uh, because of the current point route in this section. So being able to farm points quickly is very important. The reason I call it a task strat is because it's some like farming points like that is something the task does constantly. Like it does it everywhere because it just like it can constantly despawn enemies in a blink of an eye and it's just ridiculous to see. And that's the only only humanly possible uh, section we can actually do it in. So it's kind of neat that we can bring some task strats into this game. Again, we have to go through the oblig obligatory water level. I love this, I actually don't. Again, with meta quick, uh, water becomes a lot more bearable. Guess we can just go through it decently fast. Nope. Yeah, uh, one one sad thing about this game out is that even technically Meta Knight is in the Kirby family, he cannot pop up in uh, while going to water, so he cannot go uh, go uh, reach the surface fast. Yeah, I'm not sure if if Meta Knight is a Kirby. I mean, he's not he's not a, he's not a Kirby, oh, but nice. he has similar appearances. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's not canonically confirmed that he's a Kirby. Maybe he's just a different breed of a Kirby with wings. I have no idea. Also, luckily, uh, we got the nice pattern on Fr uh, Fatty Will here. If he does the giant jump pattern, uh, you can quick kill him uh, using the tornado, but it's really tight, and I'm usually not that good at it. Anyway, Sky High is really easy to do with Meta Knight. You just... Oh, of course I run into an enemy <laughs> right after I say that. Nice one, Kinnan. I'm, I'm the best speedrunner. Twitch.tv slash Kinnan11 to watch the best speedruns. Oh, please don't. And on to Preka right here. And got the lucky pattern. There we go. Now, Hotbeat and Meta Knight is a little bit annoying to go through fast, so I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. Should have done that earlier. Cannonless. Also, coming up is my favorite Mega Jump. Ah, I messed it uh, up. Damn. It looks really sweet if you nail it. Such a shame. Also, the helper is having some difficulties, but luckily he's relieved of his duties. Okay, that was really nice movement at the end there. Wasn't the most perfect uh, hot beat, but hot beat is hard to do well. It's definitely one of the harder, um, harder uh, levels. Yeah, especially especially since you cannot use the fire ability gimmicks. It's mainly because you don't have invincibility candies as Meta Knight. That will be absolutely crazy being able to go twice as fast. It just breeze through all the levels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if you like hacked an invincibility candy and stacked it with the max ma meta fast. Uh, no, meta quick, right? Yeah. If you stacked it with meta quick, if he actually would go twice as fast, or would it bring any results at all? 
Well, there is a, a level editor for this game, so I don't think anyone's ever tried it, though. I might look into that, actually, for fun. Oop. Getting hit a little bit too often, but it's fine. Getting a sweaty here. So I want to have a decent amount of points right here, and 46 uh, is pretty much what I like to have uh, going into this room. Ooh, I do not want to die. So the thing about dying in this game mode is uh, you'll basically lose all of your points when you do, so uh, dying is really bad. Uh, I do have my honor as an MKU runner to uphold to not use the heal ability. I will lose all of my honor if I do so, so I'm not gonna do it. Should be fine. Anyways, on to Mekai. Now, a cool thing in Mekai that we didn't know for like years on end is that you can just simply. Fly through it? Destroy these blocks. Oh. No one knew about this for the longest of times until like uh, a newer runner just kind of just shows like, hey, did you guys know this? And it's like, oh my god, what? <laughs> I can imagine the shock. Yeah, it saves a lot of time over using the cannons. Also, 25 points is absolutely perfect. This is the right amount of points I like to have here. So we can just blaze through. Two, three, I think. Yep. So here we're gonna quickly go through bonkers, and then we get the fight against Heavy Lobster again. Now this one has more health, so we have to use the tornado a little bit later. The whole like point route of Milkway Wishes has been rerouted just for this Mac Tornado. By the way, uh, it was it doesn't save too much time. It saves a couple of seconds, but. The level of optimization in in-game time Meta Nightmare Ultra is so high that it's worth it. Uh, no, we're going through racks. Also, this is a heart room to do well. And that was okay. Yeah. I'll take that. And go through here. Use another Meta Quick. So as you can see, my point count is kind of low, but that's fine. We're gonna get 10 points coming up, and in the room after this room, uh, we can farm up as much as we need. Uh, we need about 7 extra points, so that's 4 enemies. Actually, 3 extra enemies. Need to keep that in mind real quick. This Iron Man is usually really annoying. It's bad, like, bad positioning and everything. Can you do the zip here, or...? No, you can't do it with Meta Knight. It's, you can only do it with Wing, for Bummer. some reason. So here I'm quickly grabbing up a few points. Ooh. Uh, I'm lacking one, so I'm gonna quickly kill this guy. Okay, now we got perfect points. One have 31 going into this fight. Uh, it'll become clear why it's 31 exactly. And on to the next computer virus. Now this one, uh, in in-game timed runs of Meta Nightmare Ultra, is usually the one that destroys your run at the end. Uh, I've had many, like, world records be destroyed by this guy, and it's just really annoying. But we got perfect luck, so that's awesome. No! Oh, I messed up. Oh. So, um, How bad is that? Great Dragon just like flew up for like a few pixels and that instantly removes his hitbox. And ah. that is really annoying. Um, so that loses me a bunch of time because now I have to fight him normally. Oh, that sucks. Ah. That sucks a really big deal. That doesn't happen often. Yeah. Oh, it's not looking very good at this point. No. You still gonna defeat your honor of not healing during the during any time? Yep. I could have killed him there. That was kind of bad. Should be able to manage through 
uh, through Galactonite uh, with this amount of health if I do it right. If I get unlucky though, he'll just destroy me and that's fine. Yeah, it's completely fine. We got time for me being destroyed by him. Okay, so for this best song in the game. So yeah, this is Galactonite. <laughs> he can be very obnoxious. He is just about as random as any Meta Knight you can imagine. And as you can see, he has a whole lot of health. He has 999 to be exact. And I got unlucky with the pattern. I'm gonna fly around him because of my health. And please spawn minions. So I want him to spawn minions. Uh, because uh, these minions give me 9 points, which is exactly what I need to get a tornado. And uh, with a tornado, I'm gonna... Okay, cool. I'm gonna be able to skip an RNG moment from him. Nice. So he got through there with that amount of health. And there we go, that was Galactonite, and with that I can put down my 3DS for just a few seconds and stretch for the first time in two hours. It's not over yet though. Oh, remember to stretch. Uh, this is the only unskippable cutscene in the entire game. It lasts about 15 to 20 seconds, I never actually timed it. But for some reason we just can't skip it. Not even with the start button or the B button. Just have to wait through here. And, um, yeah, then we can see our time. Yeah. Let's see if we get a sub-25. twenty-four, uh, sub -25. That would be my goal. Ah, 25-36. Uh. That's still a pretty fast run. Anyways, we get the soft reset the other cutscene and go straight into the final game. Yep, Tro Arena. Which it is basically um, an arena again. Uh, oh, I should press the start button here. Uh, but this time it's with all the newer bosses that they added, and it's a little bit harder to do well in. This, so this game is full of bangers. Yeah. I missed the timing there horribly. Oh, come on. Ow. Oh, come on. Stupid boss. There we go. So one of the things you might notice is that I have only small tomatoes right there instead of maximum tomatoes. That's one of the things that makes the true arena a lot harder to do. And it's kind of a staple in uh, all the modern Kirby games uh, that in a true arena you have less health to go through. For most of these bosses it's just like hammer strats. So mid bosses die quite easily, but they have a lot more health than their arena counterparts, and I'm getting really unlucky with this guy. Ech. So we're just gonna beat him down. I'm gonna grab some more health after this. So Lolo and Lala's Revenge in the True Arena is probably my least favorite uh, boss fight. Because it's just random where they spawn and they never spawn in the right spots for you to do proper hammer flips at the start. There we go. And there we go, that was a nice, nice three cycle. Yeah. I usually don't get three cycles. Crack a junior. Krakow Jr. with Hammer is pretty f fun to do, because he dies really quickly. And again, the, the boss I have never seen before. <laughs> so for... Um, so for uh, the True Arena, the first six bosses are randomized and then you get into the final four, which aren't. There we go. It's 
So first off in the final four, we get to fight against Moss DDD, and he dies kind of quickly. No fast DDD on this round, though. Nope. Uh, it's actually kind of rare to get that, so it's you got it fine. In practice. Yeah, that was really lucky. <laughs> it really doesn't happen all that often. So MM Jewel, uh, we do the same strats as in Helper to Hero. We just run around, do a hammer flip, run around, and dead. Also, for the next fight, we get uh, on the Galactonite again. Excuse you know, me, to I'll do let that. me just grab my guitar again. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, uh, Galactonite with Kirby, you can actually do a little bit of a um, damage manip if you're lucky to get him to do minionless, which I think I managed to do right now. Yes, I got minionless, nice. Minionless is actually something you want with Kirby, unlike with Meta Knight. With Meta Knight, you uh, really want to spawn minions. Yeah, you have to go. Uh, right now? Nope. Excuse me. <laughs> so on to the uh, next... Uh, you can I'll leave you alone here. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. So this is the final boss of Kirby Superstar Ultra. It is the return of Marks. This is Mark's Soul. Now Mark's Soul is very annoying. Uh, he, does, he has a whole different set of a a attacks. And he always spawns completely randomly. So you just ha kind of have to get lucky. I'm going to do bit of damage boosting through here. Eh, I'm not getting too lucky spawn, so... Oh, I actually did skip... Oh, wow. I uh, skipped a very annoying uh, damaging phase there. And instead gone straight to this one. Nice. Which is really sweet. Okay. And that's... The true arena done. Now that means that I'm basically completely done, but the timing stops the moment that the uh, cutscene for 100% starts. So we just have to wait just a little bit before I can press the button. And there we go. <laughs> ah, slightly overestimate. <laughs> oh no. You're gonna get banned now. And we got a nice little Kirby dance at the end. Awesome. Woo. So that is Kirby Superstar Ultra 100%. Uh, quick shout outs to the Kirby community and everyone that helped me uh, run uh, this game. And you guys are all awesome. And uh, there's one tiny thing I want to show off really quick at the end. It'll take no less than a minute. Quick waddle do. Qu quick waddle do. It is absolutely awesome. A wonderful little thing. Uh, it's one of the few glitches in this game, and it's probably the best looking glitch out there. So I really want to show it off real quick. I need to go to the right area if the game wants me to. Just jet there real quick. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch into uh, copy. And we're gonna do this. Oh, let's try that again. It's a little tight sometimes. And we'll just let Waddle do do his thing. Waddle, can I go quick? This is called uh, Speedy Do. And he'll just keep going faster and faster and faster oh, no. and faster oh, no. and faster oh, and faster no. and faster. <laughs> faster, faster. Oh! oh! You can actually do. You can still get hit by him sometimes. And eventually, it just goes so fast that we all he just and Waddle has left the build has left the building. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for having me and have fun at the SM64 relay race, which is probably going to be absolutely awesome. So please stay tuned. <laughs>